Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot. Today, we're working on this C200 W204 using the 271 engines. The customer complaint is when the engine is working, the fan will run at full speed. And after we've done some further testing, we found out that the engine is, when the engine is cool, there will be some random misfire at first, but after a while, everything is back to normal. So this is the 271 engines on this W204. As always, we're gonna start with scanning the car first. And based upon what codes are stored, we're gonna determine our next step. So in this video, I'm gonna use the sentry to see on the vehicle's current trouble code. As you can see, there are some DTCs and one of them is telling us that the electric fan has a malfunction. The symptom is the fan will run at full speed when you when you start the engines and the first thing that pop up in my head is that it had been losing the communications and secondly it also tells us that there is an internal fault in the control unit with these clues we can conclude that our engine computer is malfunctioning and since the internal fault is happening in our engine computer i've decided to take a look on what's going on inside the ecu itself and after opening the control unit I found that the electrical circuit board is damaging. If you pay attention closely, you can see that the capacitor is failed, resulting in the internal fluid leaks. And since the car is old, as the capacitor ages, it will slowly fall out of tolerance as the internal structure degrades, similar to the process with a battery. So what happened when a capacitor fails? There are two main types of capacitor failures. Firstly, they can fail in an open conditions where they basically stop working. This type of breakdown can often pass undetected as there are little visible evidence that something has gone wrong. And the second option is a short circuit failure when there's an obvious leak of the dielectric medium. Sometimes there, there's even a loud popping sound like a firework and the electrolyte is conductive so leakage can create unintended connections that could disrupt the ECU performance. Uh, it is also corrosive, so it's likely to damage any surrounding component. And then, on the other side of the circuit board, I also found out that the uh, integrated circuit is failing as well. As you can see, this pin has been lifting up. At this point, the engine computer is unrepairable. So the only option is to replace it with a new one. And so with the uh, replacing procedure, Workshop often provides an online offline method in which we will use a specific tool to copy the original file from the old broken ECU to another. And on the other hand, we also provide an online method where we can use an online account to get the file, then putting it to the new engine computer. And there are many ways to do it, but in our circumstance, we're gonna choose the offline method. And after cloning our ECU and plugging into our vehicle, the, the uh, immobilizer will automatically be synchronized. And another way that I forgot to mention is when choosing the offline method, you can use the uh, Mercedes-Benz C4 diagnosis tool. And in this way, we have to connect the vehicle to Sentry and find the exact compatible file for the hardware and software versions. So for example, as you can see on the screen, this is the appropriate hardware versions for the vehicle. And after cloning and replacing the engine computer, let's take a look at the dash and the sentry to see whether there is any fault left. And you can see that there is no light on the dashboard even when I rev it to high RPM. And moreover, there is no fault code stored in the fault memories. At this point, I can say that our problem has been solved. Now, if you like these videos and you want to learn more, please subscribe to our channels. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we will help you as much as possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time.